Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. So recently, as you would have probably have known if you have been looking at my channel, I have had my hair highlighted and I'm going to just grab my YouTube light, which is on a bit of a tripod here. So, <laughs> so as you can see, I have got highlighted hair. Now, the reason why I'm just showing you like this is because you can see that it's really, really light, really, really silvery and it's really kind of back to the metallic sort of blonde I wanted throughout my hair once I had it done on the Saturday, which was about just over a week ago now. Now, the original product which they sold me, um, done moisture, done shine, looked after my hair, used it three times. First time, no, not at all. Second time, third time, I could see it was more of an all-round colour maintenance shampoo. It wasn't certainly for keeping a metallic sort of nice silvery highlight. I've just dropped the products. <laughs> oh, bear with me. So, and the ones which we are looking at reviewing today was this. Never in a million years would I ever have thought. I've seen this always in supermarkets. Never in a million years would I have thought that I've been buying this for my hair. And this is by Provoke Professional Hair Care. I've got the intensive conditioner and I've got the brightening shampoo. Now these are really very, very good. I have to admit, this is what has given me back and I've only actually used it once. And I liked it so much that it literally put my hair back to exactly how it was done when I first had it highlighted. Now, just grabbing my light again, you will see it's very metallic-y, very silvery in places to the point where it looks like I'm actually naturally graying which looks really really cool when I had it done originally I was told I was told that um I, well, I was asked rather if I wanted more of a warm blonde kind of a medium color if I wanted really icy cool or gray tones and straight away I wanted the gray icy tones um and never thought in a million years that my hair would lift up to that high um I wanted it to still look really really natural really masculine I didn't want it to look like um I didn't want it to look like a feminine highlighted style I think that's the main thing isn't it with men's highlighted hair very often it's very easy to go over the top and it's very easy for it to start looking as though that you've spent the whole day in the hairdressers to achieve the look and again that kind of goes against what I was trying to do I wanted it to still look really good with all of the hairstyles I like particularly the 1910s and the 1920s inspired slip back looks I really really love and the 1950s eras and the Elvis sort of hairstyle I like with a pompadour in the loads of volume going on the more volume the better those are my favorite hairstyles and I really really like that but I also wanted it because of health problems and things going on I wanted it to work for me so for on a day if I didn't really want to bother with things so much I could wash it condition it and just kind of leave it rough a little bit of wax through it and then it would be ready for the day to go if I was going to a hospital appointment or anything like that at all so having highlights has really really opened it up and what I really like about it is that it's it, it gives me that sort of that flexibility where I've got lighter bits throughout my hair I can sort of have a passing one side then I've got the sort of the the nice sort of completely different array of sort of uh, lightness of colour throughout my hair and then if I move at the opposite side there's a bit more of a brown there and through the front I haven't got extreme amounts through the front because I didn't want that I wanted it to still look very very natural but inside it's more it's more sort of lighter in certainly in colour as you can see um, here particularly really really like that and the style I've gotten actually as you can see I've gone way higher on the sides which I really really like and then at the back it's off to a point now and um, so I've got my hair used to be around about here and now I've had it way taken up to here now um, as a suggestion of the lady who cuts my hair and she actually suggested because I said I felt really really quite down and quite flat with um, health problems and things at the moment and I wanted something different so um we spoke about a couple of things and uh, done um, done my own research to Google Google um, had a look on there and found a few things I liked um, showed this uh, to the next time that when I when I had my sides cut and um, yeah we went for it and that was just over a week ago now but the product which have a look at the review is by Goldwell Dual Sensors um, I'm not going to say it's a poor product because it's of course a professional product it's very very good quite expensive um, but for me it was just an all-round color protection so for example not really a purple shampoo not really toning um, never in a million years would I really even think I'd need that for my hair at all? But as I'm aware now, that once you have highlighted hair and you've got really, really dark hair, the natural process of hair is very quick to sort of throw back yellowy, sort of warm tones. It didn't happen in the back so much at all. The ones in the front, it did. So for example, just grabbing the light again, literally the ones in my hairline started just to come through really quite yellowy. And from going on the Saturday, having them really, really silvery, really, really metallic, I wanted to keep them like that. But it wasn't until I started using it, I used it the first time, and I thought to myself, 
okay, sorry, but you've sold me this product a little bit naff. And then when I used it the second time, um, I could tell that it was more of a colour protection because it moisturises the hair, it looks after the hair and it gives a really nice shine. But it doesn't get rid of that yellowness, yellowness and that brassiness. So I thought to myself, okay, I don't really know what to do here because never had this kind of type of colour before. Um, but I had always, I tell you, every time I do, every time I do a clip on my channel, there's always some dog in the background barking. So I do apologise. I'm just going to carry on. But I had seen this when I've been looking for shampoos and things before, and I thought to myself, hmm, let me let me have a think about it. And I thought to myself, don't really know, don't really know what to choose. Don't certainly didn't even know there was a conditioner. This was in fact that my mum and my eldest brother went to. A supermarket very local to us to pick up a few things and this was on offer and my amazing mum thought of what I just had uh, put through my hair and thought if this might be any good for me and I said absolutely amazing thank you very much it was on offer four pounds each really really quite quite taken back actually that I'm actually holding these products because never in a million years would I think I had lighter hair but of course I do in places now and it really does need maintenance and it really does need looking after so the shampoo this here is a brightening shampoo now i forgive me if i make mistakes here because i really don't necessarily i'm a 27 year old man i've never really sort of dabbled with sort of lightening of hair or anything this is very very new to me so this product here is by provoke professional hair care touch of silver for blonde platinum or white hair brightening shampoo toning violet pigment so what i imagine that is is if I, i'm thinking from when i done my gcse's in art and got any, the highest grade by the way <laughs> and that on the color wheel of course the purple is the opposite from yellow so my understanding that's how this works but this is such a rich real intense purple pigment you can really really tell it's literally like you're putting a purple dye on your hair and that's what panicked me first of all. I thought to myself, great, have I just absolutely ruined my hair? But it doesn't. And it neutralises brassiness and brightens colour in just one wash. It's 200 mils. This is usually £8, but it's £4. My mum told me that. So, <laughs> so let's read you a little bit on the back here. So Touch of Silver Brightening Shampoo contains violet pigment to actively neutralise brassy yellow tones and treat colour fading and dullness for instant visible results. This toning treatment shampoo brightens coloured, natural or highlighted platinum, blonde, white and grey hair, resulting in vibrant, dazzling shine for visible brighter hair after just one use. Directions of use. Massage into wet hair and leave for five minutes before rinsing thoroughly. Ideal for weekly use or when you need to brighten your blonde. Updates just due. <laughs> Do apologise for that. OK. For optimum results, follow with intensive conditioner. So that's this one. So I didn't even know that this this was something out there. I really didn't, actually. It was my amazing mum which picked this up for me. So, amazing. Okay, and here we go. Use colour care shampoo and conditioner in between washes to avoid colour build-up. Okay. So, avoid contact with clothing and porous surfaces as this product may stain. Do not use every day. Do not use, do not use for two weeks after having hair dyed, bleached or permed can cause allergic reaction okay so it's been just over a week just over a week and i mean i only used a very small amount and i've done a fantastic result anyway so always just be careful with that always just sort of perhaps test an inconspicuous area first of all perhaps in behind your hairline see how you go with it but i used a small amount of this left this on my hair for about five minutes washed it out went in then with the conditioner and this stuff nearly dropped the bottle <laughs> this stuff is quite incredible actually because the hair in the front here the back wasn't going sort of like a, a like a more traditional sort of blonde it was getting quite a warm yellowy color these here starting here because my hair's really really dark and then it would sort of fade out a little bit but i didn't have that nice metallic color which i wanted and i wanted to keep so this just brought it right back to when i first had it done so really really pleased with that and that would certainly be something i would keep in keep for me to use whilst i'm having whilst i have this in my hair would i use it all the time no why because you have no need to once you've got that color sorted and resolved and neutralized in your hair why would you want to keep going back in so for me probably once once every two weeks that would be absolutely fine for that and then on the back of that as well this conditioner again is purple um it's like a it's the i didn't even talk about the texture today either so the shampoo yes it's not the most moisturizing on your hair 
but it doesn't make it that rough either. It just feels like that you are sort of using it for the toning purposes. But it does look after your hair, I have to admit. It doesn't make your hair feel annihilated or incredibly dry, but you can just tell you've used something. It's got a really nice smell, and you can tell that it's a quality product. Okay, so the conditioner. This is when it gets really, really interesting. Because this is, it's quite hard to get out actually, because it's very thick, it's very rich. And this is the Touch of Silver by Provoke Professional Hair Care for Blonde, Platinum or White Hair. Intensive Conditioner Keratin Repair Complex. Now, keratin, of course, is what our hair is the protein structure. So when I always read keratin in a product, I always think to myself that it's a keratin sort of a like product which has been made to sort of mimic and really get the hair back to its natural state of keratin to really boost the health, boost the shine, boost the condition, and I think this does this absolutely amazingly. So again, improves hair health and structure in just one wash, and it certainly does that. I didn't have dry hair after I had the highlights put into my hair at all, but after using this, it does make your hair feel, I don't want to say dry to put you off at all, but you can certainly feel like you've had something put through your hair. So it does almost sort of make you feel you need to use a bit more conditioner. This even if you don't have dry hair and you've just got normal hair, it really does just flood your hair with health and moisture and it really, really looks after things. Both these products are really, really nice on the scalp as well. Doesn't itch, doesn't make you feel uncomfortable. Um, and yeah, really, really love it. Really loved using the product and the results it gave me put my hair back to that really, really nice metallic look, which I really, really wanted, of course, to keep. And I think I really, really like. Give you a quick look again through my tripod light, <laughs> and as you can see, really metallic, white in places, grey in places, and that was the whole thing. It wasn't all meant to be one colour, so it's blonde in places, lighter again, white, and then we've got some sort of like metallic grey. I really, really like it, and these products just look after your hair as well. And of course, I've only used this once, bearing in mind, I only used this once. I had a fantastic result just for using it once. Okay, so Touch of Silver, intensive conditioner's rich and luxurious formula, improves hair condition after just one treatment. And of course, I'm only using it after one treatment. So, do you know what I mean? I'm not saying I'm using this all the time, I've used it once. And you can see from the bottle, and the light's actually up against, I don't know if you can now, but it's literally just down several mil on here. Literally, not even a centimetre, because I haven't hardly used any at all. On here, you could get carried away, because this is really, really nice, and it makes your hair feel really nice, moisturised as well. So, okay, Touch of Silver Intensive Conditioner's rich and luxurious formula improves hair condition after just one treatment. To be used with the brightening shampoo, it contains restorative proteins which intensively target dry, damaged and coloured hair, leaving it feeling smooth and moisturised, which it absolutely does that. A nourishing blend of anti-aging properties, optic brighteners and keratin complex helps to rebuild hair and protect its structure for healthier hair that radiates with shine. And you know what? I can't sort of sing its praises enough. It certainly does do that. So this is absolutely a certain. If you're looking at this, and you're thinking to yourself, whether you're a man or a woman, I've done this to my hair. I've had this done. It looks really, really nice. How do I prolong it? Give these a try. Give these a try as well. Really, really like them. You might not like them. It's not going to suit everybody, I doubt it. What product does, to be quite honest with you? But this, especially the conditioner, that for the toning of the colour, amazing. This, the condition, really, really nice. Directions for use. After using the brightening shampoo, smooth a generous amount onto hair. Leave for three minutes before rinsing out thoroughly. For very dry damaged hair, leave on for 10 minutes. Use colour care shampoo and conditioner in between washes to avoid, avoid colour buildup. And again, avoid uh, caution, avoid contact with the eyes in case of uh, in case of contact, rinse thoroughly plenty of water. So any standard product there. But this, I left this on for not even three minutes, about two minutes. And it was brilliant. So if you left that on for 10, whoa. I'm not sure what you'd be left with, really ultra intense moisturised hair. I haven't got dry hair at all, but some people's hair with blonde, of course, I know, I've seen it myself, we all have, haven't we, with people who keep having their hair done blonde and blonde and blonde. Sometimes it looks a little bit like straw, let's be honest, it does look a little bit like straw um, on, some, on some people. And um, products like that, yeah, well, intensive condition, why wouldn't you want to try that if you have got lightened hair in places, whether you're a man or a woman, of course. Um, I would certainly recommend these products. 200 mils. The price I pay for them were £4 each. 
My mum bought them. <laughs> My mum bought them. I wouldn't have actually even thought about getting them. I did know about this product, um, and I did think to myself, after the experience I had with the Goldwell, which I bought when I, at the hairdressers when I actually had it done, when I had the highlights done for me, um, I did think to myself, after that didn't go so well, it was just like a colour protection shampoo. I needed something to get those sort of slight yellowy tones out of my hair, or that more traditional, as we all know, that traditional blonde sort of slightly yellow look. Um, I wanted something to really get that out of the way. And as good minds think alike, my mum came home with this for me after going um, to the shop with my oldest brother, and amazing. And now I'm left with this, just what I really like, um, that nice metallic look. So, incredible. Okay, thanks very much for watching indeed, and I hope you've enjoyed my clip, I certainly have. And until next time, this is how I've achieved in one go the metallic look after having the highlights put through my hair. And you can see, it looks pretty cool, if I say so myself. <laughs> so... Thanks very much for watching, and for the last time, until next time, we will see you then. Bye-bye now.